for me. Right, Mr Tickle, what can we do for you today? Nurse, I'm bored. Can you tell me something interesting I can do with my body? Certainly. Try this. Try to keep your eyes open while I carry out a test. OK. No blinking. Blinking at a loud noise is one of the human body's reflex actions, automatic movements built in to protect you from potential danger. The blink reflex happens in less than a tenth of a second. No, I can't do that, nurse. How interesting. Thanks very much. That'll keep me going for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Bye-bye. Put your right arm out in front of you like that. Pinch the skin on your elbow. Now see how hard you can do it without hurting. Hmm. Quite hard. Very hard. Really hard. Pinching usually hurts thanks to millions of nerve endings under the skin. Your fingertips and lips contain the most, but there's far fewer on elbow skin, so pinching there doesn't hurt. No, I can't feel anything. How bizarre. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Bye-bye. Put this hard monitor on, please. OK. Your heart rate is 98. Now blow on your thumb without letting any air out. OK. Blowing like this stimulates a nerve in your neck called the vagus nerve, which governs heart rate. If your pulse is racing, doing this can bring your heartbeat back to normal within a few seconds. Oh, that's amazing. My heart rate's slow. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Goodbye. Please put your right hand up against mine. Now feel the back of my hand. Ooh, how strange. Freaky, even. It feels like a weird, dead hand. This strange effect is caused by the psychological expectation that you'll somehow be able to sense the back of your hand being touched. When it turns out you can't, it leaves an unpleasant feeling that you're touching a dead hand. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. None at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Goodbye. Please do this with your hand. Now try and bring these two fingers together so they're touching, but without moving those two. OK. Bringing the two centre fingers together without moving all four is extremely difficult because our fingers are used to working in certain patterns, but not in others. With practice, this unusual movement can be mastered, but it can be very frustrating trying. Oh, you can't do it. No, I can't. How frustrating. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. Please place one hand in this hot water and the other hand in the cold water. OK. Now place both hands in this lukewarm water. Right. Ooh, how strange. It feels hot and cold at the same time. When you put your hands in water, the skin's receptors quickly become accustomed to the temperature. But when you remove them, a lingering after effect makes lukewarm water feel either very hot or very cold, depending on what each hand has got used to. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me occupied for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, I'm going to place this piece of paper on your forehead. Now, with this pen, Please write your name on it. OK, sounds easy enough. If you do this without really thinking, your brain doesn't realise that you need to change the direction your hand moves. So when you start on your left, it's actually the right-hand side of the paper. Oh, it's back to front. Oh, how strange. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. Not at all. Try and breathe out from your nose and your mouth at the same time. OK. <sighs> Breathing is determined by the position of the soft palate, a fleshy flap at the back of your throat. Hmm. Let me see. When it's up, air goes through the mouth. Down, and the nose is used. Finding a midway position and exhaling through both is very tricky to master. Hmm, you can't do it. No, it's impossible. Just put your arm right in front of you. 
When I drop this pen, you try and grab it. OK, seems simple enough. Oh. Hmm, let's try that again. The reaction time from seeing the pen drop to your muscles grabbing it depends on the speed of nerve impulses in your body. This can be 100 metres per second, but that's still not quick enough to beat the falling pen. How disappointing. It seems like I can't do that. Please lie it down on the bed. OK. Now close your eyes and tell me if you feel something strange. OK. If your legs are held up motionless for a short time, your brain will go into a relaxed mode and believe the body is lying down normally. When your legs are slowly lowered, you get the sensation they're falling through the floor. Oh, wow, that's really strange. It felt like my feet were going through the bed. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me going for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Goodbye. Please sit down and make clockwise circles with your right foot. OK. Now draw the number six in the air and then look at your foot. Upper and lower limb movements are both controlled by the same bit of your brain. Managing complicated actions is too much for it to handle simultaneously, so the anti-clockwise hand motion takes precedence and overrules the clockwise foot. Extraordinary. Thanks, nurse. That'll keep me amused for hours. Not at all. Goodbye, Mr Tickle. Goodbye.